as always, Inside Edition has a great lineup of stories in the days ahead. And host Deborah Norville, who we like to consider a friend, joins us now on what they've been working on. Deborah, how have you been? I've been great. And today we are looking, Natalie, at what one of the great pet peeves of many shoppers is, and that is those people who don't put the carts back in the corral. This is not the biggest issue facing America, but boy, it's annoying if one of those things hits your car. Um, for instance, if they pile up like this, you can't park your car there, or somebody leaves it like that, and the next thing you know, you got your finish all scratched. Or the people who do things like this, we actually confronted some of these folks. They said, oh, I'm making it more convenient for someone. They can grab a cart when they park there. But you're making it inconvenient for that poor soul whose job is to go and corral the shopping carts. So uh, we're going to bust the shopping cart bandits out there. <laughs> Why? Well, I, I, and I don't remember where I heard this, but this was like a dating. Like if someone was dating somebody else and they did that, it was like, no more. We're not having a relationship with you because we know what kind of person you are. It's a character test for some. It's a character test for some people, and yeah, it does show that it, it, there's a little bit of narcissism. Hey, it's all about me and not about you, and I didn't know that that was what people were using to kind of weed out folks, but <laughs> it's, I guess it's a version of the shopping cart version of, you know, swiping left or right, whichever it is. The I like that. I like that. So that's, of course, Aaron tonight. I know next week, though, speaking of inconsiderate people, this kind of goes hand in hand with something we're going to be able to see on the show next, right? Yeah, so next week we've got a story. You know, you go shopping online, and sometimes you have the option of buying buying something that's been previously owned. And that's great because you can get a good discount if they have um, like cleaned it up and stuff like that. In the case of this person who thought they were getting a great deal on a waffle maker, they were getting a great deal. They were also getting the previous owner's waffle. Um, or the lady who bought a Lego set for her kid and she opens it up, she's all excited, the kid's all excited, all the stuff comes out, including a little bag of dry macaroni. And these boots that you're gonna see here, they actually came in a normal Amazon box with the regular Amazon tape around it, but somebody had put them damp in that bag and they got this sort of coat of mold on it. So we reached out to Amazon and said, hey, what's up with this? They said, look, the people who process the returns, and they've just had their biggest online shopping season ever this past holiday. The people who process the returns are people. They're human beings and they make mistakes. Sometimes things get past them. Maybe they're lazy, but if it happens that you buy a previously owned product and it's man really previously owned, you just reach out to the vendor and say, hey, look, you got to make good on this. And in every instance, they do. And, you know, I appreciate that their honesty and they do make it easy to return. So you do have to wonder sometimes, OK, I'm getting the easy way of returning items that I don't want anymore. They may end up somewhere else as well. Well, let's. Yeah, and that's fine as long as you know that you're buying the real thing. Yes. Yes, there you go. I like that. Good way of looking at it. So let's look to something a little uh, lighthearted, what everybody is excited for this weekend. I know you're excited about a correspondent you've got going on. Well, we love the Super Bowl, and we love when we're able to get uh, someone who's been in the headlines recently to go um, suit up for Inside Edition and work the sidelines for us. And this year, we've got the young lady who filled in for her mom, Christy Brinkley, on Dancing with the Stars. Sailor Brinkley Cook is our special Super Bowl, Bowl correspondent. She's been down in Miami all week. Um, working out with the cheerleaders, learning their victory routines, interviewing celebrities. And I'm not really sure what this is here, but I think she's twerking with the uh, mascot for KC. But whatever she's doing, she's doing with a big smile. She's an absolute delight. So we'll have more from her tonight. And then she'll be on the sidelines on Sunday. And so Monday we'll have all of her reports from the Super Bowl. Stuff you didn't see if you're watching the game on TV. You know what? I love what you guys are doing that now each year with the big game. Deborah, as always, thanks for joining us. And you can catch Inside Edition. Thank you so much. Yourself. You bet every night right here on ABC at 7 o'clock.